Uh, we got about three minutes left with Jim Tucker. He's got to go back into a press conference. We pulled him away from that. He's surrounded by media. Jim, are you saying this is the most, in 30-plus years covering this, the most security you've ever seen? Yes. Okay. It and, goes from blocks and blocks up and down the road. And then we have a London Guardian reporter just walking on the beach sidewalk, he says, and the, they run over with machine guns and throw him in a police car. Yes, uh, they did. And as I said before, that's happened to a large number of media types uh, out there uh, yesterday and today. Oh, so it's, they mean business. Uh, many of the European uh, uh, media guys have been grabbed and held, guns pointed at them, screamed at their films uh, ripped out, or uh, forced to erase their film, and stuff like that. There will be a lot in the paper on uh, that very subject. AmericanFreePress.net. Uh, when are we going to see some of your first reports on this? Well, the paper that was being mailed today, Thursday, will have the report I filed, uh, well, this morning, your time. Uh, uh, it'll have about a 500-word story on uh, what little we've learned in advance of the meeting and uh, some photographs. And then the full report will be in the paper that goes to uh, press uh, a week from today. Uh -oh. I'll put it back in Washington. Good. And we're going to have you on next week as soon as you get back. You're always gracious. And tomorrow at 12 noon, our time at uh, what What time is it in Greece? Eight o'clock? Uh, uh, eight o'clock, yeah. Okay. Now, now, two final questions, Jim, here. And this is key. So you've identified the hotel. They've shut down a whole complex, though, blocks and blocks. Uh, we're getting reports that Tim Geithner is going to be uh, in attendance. And even the Times of London and others are saying that his. Uh, scheduled it's suspiciously empty and that this is the final meeting setting up the new banking infrastructure yeah well uh guy through was there last year uh secretaries of uh defense state and treasury always attend uh as, as you know as do high officials of the white house and other uh other government figures so he's definitely uh here and uh carl, carl bilk is going to uh, make a speech about how to exploit the uh, uh, economic downturn to uh, boost along the uh, U.N.'s World Department of Treasury. Now, that's illegal, isn't it, to have sitting government officials at a private meeting in secret discussing and setting policy? That's a violation yeah, of the Logan Act. criminal act under the, under the Logan Act. <laughs> and a lot of uh, uh, cute little liberals say, well, the Logan Act was passed in 1787. Or 89, something like that. Well, sure, but it's still there. It's been amended many times over the years. That doesn't, uh, that shows that uh, Congress still uh, favors the uh, Logan Act when they amend it to tighten it up. But if it had not been amended, it's still the law until it's repealed. All right, one last question <laughs> because, because London Guardian reporter Charlie Skelton was supposed to be on the show. He's now in a police station. This is breaking news. I know you're going to uh, hear this, uh, Jim Tucker. Uh, but I've got to get this final question, and unless your uh, phone line gets lost or something, any other key information from your Bilderberg sources about what is on the agenda? We know they're pressuring Obama to pass this gun ban treaty, and Obama's given speeches saying he does want to do that. Is that on the agenda, the global uh, currency tax, the uh, greenhouse taxes, uh, the carbon taxes? I mean, what's on the agenda? <coughs> All of that's on the agenda under the uh program that we need a United World Action, uh, global uh, action on a global basis by uh, global government. Uh, that's all on the agenda. It's being pushed very hard. And this must be an important meeting if it's the greatest security you've ever seen. Uh, Jim Tucker, okay. uh, stay there one moment. I know you've got to go to that press conference, but Charlie Skelton, who was already picked up by police, and that's the London Guardian, and I thought got out of it, is back in the police station. Is he there reporting or has he been arrested? I know you want to hear this, Jim, so stay there for a moment. Uh, uh, Charlie Skelton of the London Guardian, uh, have you been arrested again? Uh, well, I wouldn't say arrested, detained again. Uh, yes, I seem to be making a habit of this. That's that's twice now in two days. Uh, Jim Tucker's on the line with us and can get this out to the press conference he's about to go back to. Jim, do you have any yeah, questions uh, for I'll, London? I'll tell the guys when I get downstairs. So you're going to uh, survive, Charlie. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> I, I can't quite hear. Um, it was yeah, Jim um, Tucker <laughs> got me out of jail. Well, uh, uh, 
Okay, tell us what's happening right now, Mr. Skelton. Well, I, I, I'm, I'm, being into, I'm being entered into the logbook again. Uh, okay, let me just say uh, bye to and, Jim then. Jim, we'll, uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow at noon, okay? Very good. Good luck, Charlie. Talk, talk to you at 8 o'clock your time. Sorry about that. Jim had to go. Okay, uh, I'm going to shut up. London Guardian reporter there. And, and, and under international law, let me just tell you, uh, Mr. Skelton, in case you don't know, when they turn their lights on, you're detained. When they put handcuffs on you or make you go somewhere, you're under arrest. So they don't ever want to tell you that, though, because when it turns out it was wrongfully done, it would be false arrest. So they play a well, mind yeah, game, okay. a Jedi mind trick of telling you, we may have forcibly taken you here, but you're not under arrest. Under, you are under arrest. Now, you've been falsely arrested. Tell us what happened. Well, um, uh, and it's rather embarrassing because I've been to the same police here again today who are telling me, um, uh, you know, I can't believe we're seeing you back here. Uh, and I was saying, look, I, I was just trying to photograph uh, the delegates as they arrived at Bilderberg. Uh, which I was doing. I was trying to get a couple of nice arty shots, you know, to illustrate my, my piece. So I'm doing a series of pieces for the Guardian website. I'm not, you know, I'm not a paparazzi. I don't have a long lens photo. They're, they're, they're detaining me because I'm standing at the side of the road with a, you know, a little 50-pound digital camera. And it's yeah, world preposterous. leaders, 150, it's now 150 world leaders meeting publicly to set world policy. They now brag about it. We've gotten their documents. And you're evil with one of the biggest newspapers in the world. What, top 10 newspapers, London Guardian, in the world? You're there, and how, and, and this is the freedom of the EU. Please continue. Well, it's, it's a little bit, I keep telling them. I mean, in fact, one of the policemen has been quite sympathetic, and he said, look, I, I appreciate it. I'm just doing my job. We're in, we're in a difficult situation here. And, you know, I, I, he said, I said, I hope there's a protest tomorrow. And he said, you know, it would be good if there, uh, if there was a different voice being heard. And this is one of the policemen here. Because, so, you know, I, I, I do appreciate that I'm just being held by local, basically local policemen, you know, who are, in a, who've been put in a very difficult situation, I think, by the sudden descent of all these people uh, on this tiny, you know, relatively small little Riviera town uh, just outside Athens. And um, so I feel a little bit sorry for them, but I don't feel sorry for the fact that they keep telling me just nonsense about how I can't take photographs of things, and then they still keep withdrawing what they're saying, and they don't really have anything to say to me. They're just going through the motions. And, uh, you know, the, the very idea that I'm, st I'm standing at the side of the road... Sorry, this, I'm just going to... Step to one side, sorry. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just telling the policeman I'm not leaving. <laughs> um, I, uh, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just slightly bizarre that I'm, I'm standing at the side of the road taking little arty photographs of a Mercedes Benz as it whisks past. And then suddenly, you know, there's another seven policemen, you know, uh, around me, well, two, two of them plain clothes, and they're sort of, and they're giving me the whole, you know, what are you doing? Who's this? Give me your ID. What's all this? And I'm just thinking, God, what? You. You know, you're focusing on the wrong thing, and I just feel, I do feel... Well, Mr. Deeply, Skelton, deeply they're violating... The, the police forces. They're violating the Geneva Convention. They're, they're, they're violating every canon of a free press. They are engaged in criminal acts, so I wouldn't be so uh, gentlemanly about it. I mean, because they're violating you right now, they're violating me. I want you to know that, because yeah. I'm, a, I'm a journalist. You know what? I, I don't think they know what they're doing. I genuinely, I don't think they know what they're doing. I don't think they know what's happening here. I don't, you know, I don't think anyone does. Well, they've clearly uh, uh, been uh, ordered. You know, I don't think said, the people in the street know what's going on. I don't think. I don't think they know what's going on. All they know is that Charlie, they've, they've got someone. Charlie Skelton, someone London Guardian reporter. To, anyway, sorry. No, no, no. I, I just want to make clear here to you because I've been in the position you're in for 16 hours before, yeah. sir. Obviously, they're compartmentalized. They've been told arrest, harass, track, trace, tail anybody that gets anywhere around the world leaders setting for the global government conference where they yeah. adjust their world government program every year. So. Did you know Jim Tucker's been shot at in Portugal? Did you know I've been really? death threatened? Did you know my wife's been called up and threatened when I'm at Bilderberg by them? Did you know that I've been detained for 16 hours and they told me in Canada that if they found a pinup girl of Betty Page, that that would be illegal transfer of pornography? They searched all three of our laptops and thank God none of my staff or I had even accidentally visited a topless, you know, site or something. I don't know what well, computer's doing. Check my laptop. No, but don't give them the idea. Don't give them the idea. My point is, is that these are terrorists. And they were told to do that by Bilderberg. They told me they took me off the plane when I got there and took me into customs for 16 hours because, or 15 hours because Bilderberg had called them. So I'm telling you, this is a big news story that you're a journalist. I'm a journalist. We're trying to cover this and you're now yep. in a police station. So, so, and, 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 and but they're yep. obviously letting you. Use... They're trying to remove me from the, you know, from from just being an interested 
uh, an interested, concerned citizen, which is what I'm basically what I hear. It's what I'm being. I'm an interested, concerned citizen, and it, 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 uh, you know, and I'm taking a couple of photographs on a little camera, and they're removing me from the scene. And it and it is just obviously this blanket policy of getting everyone away from it, keeping the lid on it, and you know, and all these, uh, you know, all these big, these massive limousines come in with the, the tinted windows, and it's. It's crazy. It's one of the most surreal experiences of my life. This is the first Bilderberg I've ever been to. And it's, it's, it's genuinely surreal. Well, uh, Charlie Skelton, we're going to skip this break in case they come over and turn your phone off. We're skipping a network break. Stations, this is not your break anyway, so it won't matter. We will take the bottom of the...